How do you know when you've gone too far? Here are the top 10 botched celebrity surgeries that ended horribly. First up, we have Eva Mendez. Fans accuse the actress of looking unrecognizable when she visited the Today Show on March 26th. She was talking about her latest business venture, but people couldn't help but notice that her face looked very different from only a few years ago. All the comments under that video were about her new appearance, with people writing things like, too much Botox and stop with the filler. But thankfully, there were also a lot of people who came to her defense. One comment said, there is nothing wrong with her face people, it's called aging and she is doing so gracefully. So that could be the simple explanation. After all, Eva Mendez has not admitted to going under the knife. The only thing she talked about was getting a monothread procedure in 2020. In a now deleted Instagram post, she shared a picture of herself with several needles injected under her jaw. The star got mixed reactions from her fans for that one, which is probably why she took the post down. But clearly, people are still drawing attention to her looks and claiming that she's had way too much filler on the lower half of her face. Speaking of filler, fans have also been accusing Emily Blunt of going too far, saying that she has now completely botched her face. Of course, they are being way too harsh considering that Emily has been in the spotlight for more than 20 years now, and it's only natural that she's looking a little different. After taking some time off in 2022, the actress hit the red carpet for the premiere of Oppenheimer the following year. And of course, fans were quick to notice that she had a whole new face shape. Although she still looked beautiful, her face was noticeably full and rounder instead of long and narrow. Her lips were also looking plumper than ever if you compare them to 2018. While Emily has yet to respond to these accusations, she has commented publicly on plastic surgery in the past. During a 2019 interview, she hinted that she did not like the idea of surgery because she loves imperfection. She said, in Hollywood, people are suffocated by plastic surgery, but striving for an impassive perfection isn't something I ever found beautiful or have tried to achieve myself, which is a great way to look at at it. Another celeb that might share a similar view now is Courtney Cox, who you might recognize from Friends. She has been quite vocal about regretting getting cosmetic work done. Courtney Cox shared in a 2016 appearance on Running Wild with Bear Grylls that she regretted getting filler done. She shared part of her reasoning as to why she got cosmetic work in the first place, saying, getting older is not the easiest. The Friends star went on to say that she had learned her lesson and was simply grateful the work she'd had done were things that could dissolve and go go away. She even acknowledged that the overly filled look wasn't her best look. She still felt this way years later. In 2022, she did an interview with the Sunday Times in which similar sentiments were echoed and the actress said she would never do the cosmetic work now. Some might argue that Kylie Jenner getting her famous pout was amazing for her and others stand firmly on the side that it was a big mistake. Kylie's lip injections were and still are a hot topic, especially considering Kylie's most well-known makeup product from her brand were her lip kits. The marketing of said lip kits suggested to buyers that using them would give you the look Kylie had. Of course, that wasn't true for everybody. The lip injections were a good thing for the star because they were her trademark feature for a long time. Her lip kits, they would sell out within hours of a drop. However, some would argue the injections hurt the star more than they helped. Kylie's lips became the focus of plenty of internet bullying. Then, the false promise of getting Kylie lips with the lip kits had some people claiming the reality TV star was causing her younger audience to feel insecure. Turns out, even Kylie might agree. In a 2016 interview with Allure, Kylie shared that she definitely made her lips a little too big at one point. She did continue sharing the reason why she felt the need to get the cosmetic procedure in the first place, saying, I got excited and felt like I needed to do a lot. And then her family was like, Kylie, you need to chill. And then I had to go back and have it fixed and it was a crazy process. Thank God I didn't end up unbotched. While Kylie regrets going overboard, she does not regret getting the filler. Though years later, Kylie has shared a new regret about getting work done and it's regarding her kids. She shared that she hopes her daughter, Stormy, doesn't feel the need to get work done in the future just because her mom did. Kenny Rogers has had quite a few cosmetic procedures done, but accidentally changed his whole image in the process. The country music artist shocked fans all over the world when he revealed a major transformation in the early 2000s. Of the procedures, the ones around his eyes caused the most chatter. 
Rogers was known for his sweet, gentle appearance, but many say his new look no longer reflects that. Post procedure, many described Rogers as looking constantly surprised. Fans were confused as to why the star felt the need to get plastic surgery done in the first place, a question Kenny answered in his 2013 memoir, Luck or Something Like It. Rogers shared that he was just trying to keep up with the younger stars in the country music scene and that he wanted a revamp. 2006 was actually the first time he addressed the procedures, commenting on his eye job saying it was too tight around the eyelids and that it drives him crazy. An interview in 2012 with CBS This Morning had the country crooner revealing that he regrets his decision. He said, I had the money to do it and I had time off and I regret that, but the truth is, I don't know what I would have looked like if I hadn't done it. Thankfully, he had some friends around to help him find humor in the situation. Dolly Parton apparently used to tease him about it. Khloe Kardashian may have had amazing results with her nose job, but she was less than pleased with the outcomes of the fillers she got in her face. She also implied that she still feels a bit haunted by them. Khloe got fillers in her face in 2015, but didn't admit to getting them until a year later in 2016. This came as a shock to fans, since the reality TV star was always so against getting any work done. Speaking on her cosmetic work, Chloe said, It did not work for me. I looked crazy, and I still think the effects are in there. I went to have it dissolved like three times. According to health websites, it usually takes one to two visits to dissolve most fillers, so Chloe must have either gotten a lot or really had been feeling the phantom effects. There might be a reason the fillers did not work super well for her though. Chloe had gotten them just before a major traumatic event in her life, and her doctor later shared with her that her heightened emotions at the time might have impacted the fillers. Chloe shared how she felt about everything now that it's over, saying, It was a bummer, and now I'm afraid to do it again, and I'm almost like, I swear things are still in my face. It's unfortunate she'd had such a horrible experience. Beloved actress Jamie Lee Curtis shared her heartbreaking end to her plastic surgery journey. The actress has shared her thoughts regarding cosmetic procedures many times over the years, once going so far as to say, I've had a little lipo, I've had a little Botox, and you know what? None of it works. None of it. It's such a fraud, and I'm the one perpetrating it. Those comics came in 2002, but even two decades later, Curtis still sticks by her statements, echoing them in other interviews, and even sharing the heartbreaking detail that not only did the procedure not work for her, they made her reliant on a pain reliever for many years. She is doing better now though and has been good for over 20 years. Sharon Osbourne is no stranger to cosmetic work, but one procedure had her comparing herself to various mythical monsters. In 2021, Sharon Osbourne went in for a five hour full facelift. For five hours, you would expect to come out with exactly what you wanted. Unfortunately, Osbourne received her worst nightmare. In her words, she came out looking like a cyclops because one eye was different to the other. She also compared herself to a mummy since her face was covered in bandages after the extensive procedure. Sharon claims that when she showed her husband Ozzy Osbourne her new look, he said, I don't care how much it costs, we'll get it redone. It's now years later and Sharon is looking just fine. She did end up going somewhere else to get herself fixed up. The downside with that one though was that she had to wait until her face was fully healed before going back in. Osbourne is known for being very supportive of getting cosmetic work, receiving many surgeries before the facelift. However, the 2021 incident has left its mark. In an April 2023 interview, the star shared the disaster put her off the surgeries and that it now frightens her. She said, I really pushed it with the last facelift and now I am like, no more. Jennifer Grey's nose job pretty much cost her her career. Grey had just starred in Dirty Dancing, that massive hit movie you may have heard of it. The film was her big break, only after it came out it was rare you saw Grey on the big screen or small screen. It might have something to do with the nose job Grey received in 1989, two years after the film was released. When Grey got the nose job, her face looked very different. It's hard to know what your defining feature is until it's gone. Speaking on the nose job and its impact on her career, Gray said, I went into the operating room a celebrity and came out anonymous. I'll always be the once famous actress nobody recognizes because of a nose job. It's unfortunate that such a promising star felt the need to adjust her appearance and then lose out on opportunities for it. Though Gray wasn't working necessarily as much as she'd hoped, that doesn't mean she wasn't working. She had a few guest appearances on TV shows and even a few TV movies. She also made the excellent decision to go on Dancing with the Stars in 2010 and of course won the competition. 
competition that year. Maybe the most famous celebrity cosmetic surgery situation was that of Heidi Montag. Montag was an actress in the show The Hills, but she is also known for undergoing 10 surgeries in one day. It happened in 2010 when she was just 23 years old. Two years after the surgeries, Montag did an interview with Access Hollywood Live where she revealed that she was definitely in way over her head when it came to the cosmetic work. The actress said she initially only wanted a few enhancements and then it got kind of out of hand. Some of the procedures Montag received on her face were a brow lift, Botox, and chin reduction. To make matters worse, Montag feels she wasn't properly prepared or had it explained to her well enough just how much pain she would be in after the procedures. She said, I wasn't told really the repercussions and what would happen emotionally and physically and the pain I would be in. I was kind of in shock. A good indicator for how bad the experience went for her is that she hasn't received any additional work since then. Almost a a decade after it happened, Heidi shared her 32 year old perspective on the situation with Cosmopolitan, saying, I was way too young to make such a life changing decision and was under so much pressure because it was the beginning of comment sections and negativity and hate on the internet. The surgeries meant to fix these issues only made them worse, but it looks like the actress has moved on as best she can and is focusing on her current health. But what do you think about all this? Let us know in the comment section. Have a great rest of your day. Bye!